Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome back Aries, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's always a blessing to have you here. You know you're a diamond, shine beautiful and shine bright like a diamond. I'm presently in my hotel y'all as you can presently see from the background. Um, I'm in Florida. Mom, for those of you that do not know, my sister is dealing with stage four cancer y'all, stage four. And so she's doing um, aggressive chemo. Um, it's been tough. Let's just say in my last two videos, I was depleted. Like, everything was gone here. No energy, no nothing, okay? Um, if you have had a family member who has been dealing with cancer or who have, you have lost due to cancer, then you, ex you know exactly what I mean or what I'm feeling. Um, not only is the person that is going through the cancer dealing with what they're dealing with, but family members are feeling just as depleted as they are. Um, and it really did show in my last two reads, okay? I was very exhausted. Not only was I exhausted, it's not that I didn't have a mic because I saw a couple of complaints about me not speaking up. I chose not to speak up because I wasn't alone in my room at that particular moment. Um, so I had to be very low. And I decided just to give, take a little bit of day or so away just to get my energy, to clear my energy back, okay? So, I'll be here in Florida for a couple of days. So, you'll see me um, do some reads here in the room or you'll see me do some reads out in my car. My daughter's also here with me. Um, so, that's good. That's always a good thing. Now, let me just get into a prayer, y'all. For those of you that are new here, Aries, welcome. And for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Let me fix this mic, y'all, because I don't want this to be annoying. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me put it here because I don't want it to have that sound feedback. All right. So, for those of you who are, who are um, returning, welcome back, okay? Let me get into a quick prayer, y'all, because prayer does work, okay? When I tell you prayer work, it works. So, let me get into a quick prayer and get into this read. And this read is going to be for Aries. Let's pray. Every part as I go along my day, ask you bless myself and my seekers, Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <coughs> all right, Aries, so this is a general reading, okay? It's not a personal one. Please take from the reading what resonates to your situation and leave the rest. It will pick up, it could pick up your person's energy, pass it on a future person. Even for the cross watchers who are watching, this could resonate for you as well. And if you do need to have a personal reading, you can always contact me using the information only that you will find in the description part of this video. I'm going to go ahead and pull um, two angels through, okay, to assist me with your read today. All right, angels. What's your purpose here and your number placement in line for Aries, please? All right, so we have our angels here. All right, we have the angels of learning, number 19. And then we have the angels of tranquility, number 33. Thank you, angels, for coming through to assist me with this reading for Aries. We appreciate you. All right, y'all. All right, angels. Can we have some messages here, please? Can we have some messages here, please? For Aries, please. And again, my darling, this is a general reading, not a personal one, okay? What's the message? What's the message, please? What's the message? What's the message? All right. Okay, Aries, so what I'm getting is um, your person is saying, I want you, baby, I do. So your person is saying that they want you, okay? Maybe for some of you, you're going through um, some kind of a separation here. 
maybe you're not getting along seeing eye to eye i do feel like there may be something that is hindering this relationship from binding here maybe someone needs some kind of a reassurance to know that their person really feels the way that they would love or want them to feel here but i feel like your person is having a hard time showing their affection for some of you i do feel like this person um rather to give you a gift if this person does um do something or say something that you might not be happy with instead of coming to it on a simple apology they prefer to kind of buy you something or to do that makeup sex type of a thing that is the energy that is i'm feeling coming from your person okay the lies hurt you more than my promises there you go <laughs> there you go y'all there you go there was a lot of lies here that's coming through right um, I do feel like there was promises that was made for sure. I feel like those promises was broken. And I do feel like your person needs to give you some kind of an apology here. But once again, they would prefer to show you the apology instead of actually saying it verbally. And I feel like that's what you really want to feel or to, to, to a, a sense of security is what I'm feeling here. It's what you want at this present moment, Aries. Um, angels of the separation is coming in. So the angels are saying that there's maybe a separation that is already happening with you and your person. Or a separation is <laughs> it is about to come, okay? It's what I'm feeling. But the angel of separation is coming in really strong. And I'm seeing, I hate myself for letting you go of separation. There you go. Right? So there's definitely a separation here between your person and yourself here. I do feel like your person really wants to come in and say something, okay? They want to say something. I feel like there's an apology that's coming in. Angels of learning. Maybe you did learn something from this separation for some of you, all right? But I see you transforming. You're about to transform here is what I'm feeling. The angels of tranquility did come through. Number um, 13. For some of you, you want to be able to write this angel down on white paper and let this angel kind of clarify some things for you because I do feel like maybe for some of you kind of looking for some kind of a clarity here, okay? What's the message here, please? What's the message, please? For Aries. All right. So angels are saying that you need to take um take responsibility for your part in the relationship. Take responsibility for your action here. For some of you, maybe some. Of what has happened in the relationship might have been on your part follow the golden rule yeah follow the golden rule yeah Follow the golden rule and take responsibility of what might have happened here with the relationship for some of you um maybe you have to listen to your own words the home beat of the drum is what I'm hearing never judge another okay Why am I feeling like your person might have been thinking or either saying that you might have done similar things to what you might have thought that they might have done? That's what I'm hearing. Choose love over fear. There you go. Don't be afraid. Angel of tranquility. Say what you got to say. Um, I'm getting mistakes might have been made on both parts. Okay. That's what I'm hearing, y'all. I'm getting something might have happened here. On both parts. Angels of learning, yeah. Someone is either learning from their mistakes here. Tell me more. Tell me more, please. What's the message? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what I'm getting here is healing, all right? Um, someone is definitely dealing with some kind of a regret here, right? I did pick that up earlier for sure that your person is definitely dealing with some kind of a regret that they might have not done in the past, um, present, or even future for some of you, okay? Um, I do feel like there's healing that needs to be done. Now, this could be healing on your end. This could be a healing that is coming through as far as your person is concerned. Because I already know that your person did mess up big time, all right? But what I do see is that your person is, is really saying, I know that I messed up. I know that I did some things wrong here. Um, for some of you in, a, in this present separation, because I feel like there's separation that is coming through here. But I feel like your person is also saying that you might have need to take some of the responsibility of the breakdown 
of what might have caused the separation is what I'm hearing, okay? Because the angels of separation did come through very strongly here, okay? The angels of separation did come through very strongly here and saying, somebody needs to get it together, or both people need to get this together because there's healing that is taking place here, or healing that needs to be taken care, care of. Clarify this healing angels. Okay, that didn't waste no time to come through. Yeah, it's a, it's a divine thing here. Now, this could resonate to a divine counterpart, which I feel like you guys may um, or may not, for some of you, be a um, soul tie type of a relationship. For some of you, trying to figure out if this is in fact one um, that resonates to both of y'all to being together. I do feel like for some of you, it feels like lopsided, maybe one sided. Maybe you feel like this is a soul tie thing. Maybe your person does not. I also feel like one is trying to find a placement here with this entire relationship and where it is going. I do feel like someone is willing to try to fix things. For some of you, you just had your loss and you don't want to fix anything anymore is what I'm hearing, okay? Tell me more of this divine, please. Okay. Okay. There's a lot that's coming through with this divine answer, y'all. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> there is a lot, actually. There's a lot. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing here, y'all. All right. So what I do feel, okay, which I already felt that the relationship is calling for some kind of a healing here. Healing, okay. Um, but this healing is, is giving me when one finds a way to heal as one heart, I do feel like you will be reaping a new you here, okay. Whether this new you will resonate to you working things out with your relationship or whether this new you resonates to you starting actually something new with someone from a divine and um, coming towards your future, I do feel like it will be a rare a sunshine here. I do feel like you will manifest something here that is coming towards you is what I'm hearing, Aries. I do feel like a spiritual connection is coming towards you. I do feel like happiness and joy is coming towards you here. But you have to get ready for it. I do feel like to get started, this healing has to happen because what I'm hearing is a mental here. For some of you, it might feel I've felt a mental depression for some of you. This mental depression is giving me this could be a present emotion here, okay? You're either presently dealing with this mental breakdown here based on what you are not receiving. And I do feel that um, almost through the entire read here, okay? But why am I hearing that someone needs a reality check here? This is what I'm getting. Someone needs a reality check here. To know that meditation does bring answers. Med meditation brings clarity towards you, Aries. Um, this is what angels are saying, that you need to know that meditation does bring clarity, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and clarify these cards here. All right, angels, clarify these cards, please, for Aries, please. Clarify these cards for Aries, please. Clarify these cards for Aries, please. What's the message? Please clarify, please. Please clarify these cards for Aries, please. Ooh, ooh, you saw that, y'all? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Clarification at its finest. The Page of Wands and the Magician. Okay, now for the Page of Wands here and the Magician being here, honey. I do feel like you have a very natural spiritual calling here. Not only do I feel like you have a spiritual calling, but for some of you, I already know that you know that you have this spiritual calling. It's not like you do not know, you know, okay? You are able to tap into spiritual form with this magician being here. You're able to kind of rise towards your happiness, okay? Uh, but this magician being here, I feel like you're in the, on this journey. I feel like you're on this new chapter is what I'm feeling. To making sure that your life worth is at a purpose here. Now you are going to achieve great things, Aries. And you have to know this because with this 
page of wands here you're your own superhero okay i see you putting in the work i see you manifesting the work i see you pulling in this work i see this work coming towards you you are going to achieve great things here but you have to make sure that you're doing this on a spiritual calling here okay a spiritual calling here is giving me the eight of wands the eight of wands is giving me the the eight the king of swords now with the king of swords and the uh, Eight of Wands here. I do see you pulling towards your purpose here. But you cannot allow fear to get the best of you, okay? You cannot allow fear to get the best of you. Because at the end of the day, honey, this King of Swords here is, is, is new opportunity. New uh, found peace, joy, and happiness that you will embrace. But you have to keep pushing here. Keep pushing and not be allowing fear to come into your happy happiness, all right? Is what I'm hearing, okay? Uh, let me go ahead. It just wants me to use this tarot here, okay? I'm getting pulled this deck. So we pull this deck, you Pull it. Pull it. All right, angels. Why did you want me to pull this deck for Aries? What's the message here? What's the message here? What's the message here, please? What's the message? What's the message here, please? Okay, the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so with the Ten of Swords being here, I do feel like you have definitely dealt with a lot of heartbreak and sadness here. I do feel like you might have felt, I did feel like you may, may be dealing with some kind of anxiety or mental issues, some way, shape or form here. But what I do see, okay, even though you have been dealing with this, trying to let go of that and dealing with this, I feel like you see the truth, okay? You have seen the truth, and it is about to end. It is ending. It is ending because the Six of Pentacles is also here. This is the Six of Pentacles having me feel like you might have given and receive um, for the universe for your good, okay? Um, I do feel like the universe is getting ready to bless you. You have been given. You have been given a lot to others, to what you have been dealing with your relationship, not just with your relationship, but with everything that you have come across. You have been given all that you can give. Now it's time that you put that energy into receiving your blessings back, okay? Is what I'm hearing. You're going to be doing great things, my darling. Let not your heart be troubled, okay? This is going to be your read for today. Um, if it did resonate, give it a thumbs up for me, for sure. If you do need to have a prayer request... Go ahead and put your initials in the comment section. If you need one for your person, do the same for them, family members or friends. Also, y'all, keep me in your prayer. Prayer goes a far way. Do not forget to pray because prayer is the healing power of everything, y'all, okay? Um, I love you so, so, so much. Thank you for always loving me the way that you do. I will see you in my next one. Until then, always remember to seek first and you will always find.